Okay, so we got a dishwasher that's gonna go right here. And typically the dishwasher plug is somewhere down here mounted at the bottom. Because at the bottom of the dishwasher, on the back of the dishwasher, there's an open space or an open cavity. If you were trying to put the, the outlet up here, well, the back of the dishwasher, at the top of it, um, there's a back plate on it. So if you put it down here, you'll be in the clear. So let me come over here and I'll show you what it looks like at the back of this dishwasher. Hopefully you can see inside of here. I cut it open. So, but you can see the back of the dishwasher is open. The back of the dishwasher is open. But as you go up towards the box, I mean towards the top, it's not open. There's a, a back on there. So that's why you, you gotta put the dishwasher outlet down at the bottom. Because if you put it at the top, you're gonna be hitting the back of the dishwasher. So let's go turn the circuit off first. Dishwasher should be that one right there. Let's check that the voltage. No power. Go hot the ground. No power. All right. So now I'm gonna go and put my B caps back on. I just do that just for good practice. If you don't have to have the B caps off when you're working, don't. Like I said, I just do it for good practice. So like I said, mounting this outlet is gonna be down here. If I put it up here, as you saw on the dishwasher, it's gonna be uh, in the way because when you try and plug it in the dishwasher then the outlet I mean I'm sorry the uh, the plug is going to be sticking out just a little bit um, and it's not going to allow the dishwasher to sit flush let me grab my pencil here so we want to make sure that there's no stud in the way so there's a stud right here I don't know if you can see inside of there but it's a stud right there that I do not want to hit. So I want to make sure I'm over here and not right here. The stud is right here. You see these patches right here? This mud patch? That's a screw behind there. So I want to come over here to where I won't be hitting anything. So I like to trace my box like this. I don't like to do this because I don't want to cut my box the hole too large and then I won't be able to put the box in there and won't be able to secure with these wings on here. So I kind of cut my hole small first and then I, I cut it to the correct measurements once I get the hole first cut. So let's make sure it's a bunch of trash down in here. So, but I'm not feeling anything that's gonna stop us. So it would be good on there. This box is a little deeper than I normally would use, but it was the first thing I picked up. So, so now, once I see that I'm gonna need to cut a little bit more, then that's what I do. 
So now I, I see where my wings are gonna go. So I just mark it like that. The same thing, I just mark it like that. So now I know how much I need to cut a little bit more out of my box. So just a hair more. Let this trash out of the way. And you see, if you would have came down too far and trying to put the outlet right on the floor, there's a two by four that's at the bottom right here that the sheetrock is is nailed to. See that nail right there? There's a two by four that's going along this way. So that's the reason why I, I came up just a little bit and not trying to put it down on the floor. I had to come up a little bit. So now it goes right in there. And it's kind of a little bit too big, but I can still work with that. I can still make that work. So. these back off because I know the circuit is off I'm the only person here right now so I know the circuit is gonna be off so get in there like that Grab the screw, screw gun. So oh, she's in there now. Okay. So now we're ready to put the outlet on here. And so this, since this is number 12 wire, this is a 20 amp circuit going to this dishwasher. I can't just push it into the holes on the back of the outlet. I have to actually put it around the screw. You only can push the outlet, I'm sorry, you can only push the wires into the back of the outlet if it's a 14, if it's a 14 gauge wire. If it's a 12, you gotta do what I'm doing here. Now with the older outlets, you could do that push it into the back of it, into the back of the outlet, but with these newer ones, they're not making them like that. I think they do make some, but um, I don't really see them that much. Okay, start with my ground first. Hold on one second, let me squeeze it just a little bit more. We'll use that just a little bit more around that screw too. Okay. So now let's go to neutral here. Okay. Let's go with the hot here. Last but not least, just take these little ears off because if you don't take them off, the outlet will not sit flush when you put the cover on there. When you put the white cover on here, the outlet cover, 
that's not gonna sit flush, so. So you see that took less than 30 minutes to do. Hey guys, thanks for all my new subscribers, man. We have 1500. Please hit that like button, say what's up, drop a comment. I can't do this without y'all. Thank y'all for all the subscribers. And for all my new people that's been commenting, hey, if y'all just getting in these trades, stay in it. It's gonna be tough for a few years, but around your third, fourth, fifth year, you're gonna start to realize that, hey, I can do this. I'm more confident now because I have a skill uh, set. I have a little bit more skill. So hang in there. We'll see y'all next time back at United Tradesman Academy.